Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be giving you some tips for drawing dimensional leaves. So even though leaves are flat, they're not 2D. So it doesn't make sense to draw them as two dimensional. To kind of help demonstrate what we're doing today, I have these leaves that I've drawn out on plastic and cut out. So you can see both the lines and then the dimension of the leaves as we twist them. So this kind of can help you visualize. And this is an exercise that you can totally replicate to kind of start to think about leaves in this way when you're drawing them. So if I fold these like this, you can see the midrib, which is the center vein, goes up and over, and the margins follow that flow, that line, on either side. This can also be a good exercise to help you kind of understand how to draw a foreshortened leaf, which means that the perspective is going to be shortened as this is closer to you and this is further away. And so these are all the decisions that we make often unconsciously when we're drawing, deciding what's near and what's far, what's the underside. But the goal is to be a little more cognizant of it as you're drawing and to know what you're drawing. So what I have on the screen here are some examples that I've drawn of twisted leaves. And today I'm drawing with the technical pen from the inking panel, which is a native Procreate brush. And then the first technique that I'm gonna show to draw leaves with dimension is pretty straightforward and certainly not something that you have to do with every leaf that you draw, but again, it can kind of help you start to visualize what these leaves look like as they move through the space. So we're gonna start by drawing just one curve and when drawing leaves, they're very fluid and so there is continuity throughout them. And so when you're drawing your lines, you're gonna wanna make them single continuous strokes rather than drawing these sketchy, sketchy marks. Unless that's the look you're going for, which is totally fine. But in general, the more straight, smooth, and confident your strokes are, the more fluid your leaves will look. If you're using Procreate and you want to go into the brush to turn up Streamline, this will help with the fluidity. It helps smooth out your strokes slightly. So that's an option. So you start by drawing a curve and this is just a single once up, once down line. So directions there. And now that we've determined this is the shape that the leaf is going to be, we don't want to deviate from that too much. So I'm going to draw this once more, crossing over here to indicate the width of the leaf. And then again, and as much as possible, I try to make the points all meet at the start and the end. And now from here, you have a shape that generally does look like a leaf. You might want to go in and perfect some of these lines. And you also have to decide for yourself what the underside of the leaf is, again, what's close and what's further away. So we could do this two ways. We could, I'm just gonna put a slightly opaque layer in between and work on a new layer. So we could decide that the red line is the edge of the leaf that's closest to us. And that would look like this. And then if we wanted, we could even fill the underside with a solid color to help indicate that that is the underside. Alternatively, I'll hide this layer and go on to a new one. And if we wanted to decide that the blue edge was closest to us, that would look like this. And so there you have two dimensional leaves from the same base twisted in different ways. So just by making that one choice of what's going to be closer and what's going to be further away, you get a different look for each leaf. And this works with different kinds of curves here too. So you can see I have several different examples. If say I want this to be a longer leaf, I can do a curve that goes up and down and up again. And then I will just follow that same line and I think the trickiest part here can be keeping it straight for yourself because this can just look like three lines on a page, but if you go in and start erasing to help define the shape, that's when you get to decide what kind of leaf it's going to be, if that makes sense. So this is the basic form of the leaf. If we want to then go in and add details, you do it after you've drawn the form. So 
And the details that you draw can kind of help act as contour lines as well. So if all of these veins here are curved, I'll draw a cross section of what this leaf might look like then. There's the midrib, and then looks like the leaf is curling slightly out towards the margins. And then anything that you add shading to as well can help indicate some of the dimension in the form. So if this is shaded down here, that shows that it is a underside. Here I've drawn an edge slightly turned over. So add a little bit of shade there as well. And all of these things can help indicate additional dimension to your leaf. And you can also use this exercise to draw leaves at different perspectives. So if this leaf is facing us and it's turned over, you can just repeat those three lines, connect them, add this edge here, and then erase so that it is a little less confusing. Because of course we wouldn't see these edges through the leaf. So this is certainly not an exercise that you have to do every time that you go to draw leaves, but it is good practice to kind of help you understand the form of the leaves. And these shapes will come more naturally to you as you practice. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful. Hopefully you learned something. Let me know if you liked this video, if you want more tips like this. Leave any questions or comments that you have below. Also, feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, that helps me out. And subscribe for more. I put out new videos weekly-ish. Also, sign up for my newsletter to get a Procreate palette every month, as well as access to all kinds of great Procreate freebies. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.